Well, the average high today is 70 degrees, kind of a, a milestone there. We're in the 70s, at least average we should be in the 70s. I think next week we will see a lot of 70s, so hang in there. We'll get through uh, the next couple days here. we got some rain tomorrow and a very cool, blustery Thursday to follow. Right now, it's kind of a cool day out there for sure. We've had most of the rain around us and not so much here in central Iowa. You've had some showers down to the south of Tumwa, Centerville, Fort Dodge. You've seen rain up there as well, and now moving into eastern Iowa. So it's not going to be that active here this evening before midnight. It's going to be after midnight when things really get going out there. Now, we have a lot of color on the big radar here, right? we got the green, which is flash flood watches out for a lot of Kansas, Missouri. No flash flood watches here, although there is a flood watch for, like, the Raccoon River around Perry. If we get enough rainfall, that could flood uh, in a couple of days. So we'll watch for some flooding here, but not flash flooding. Now, severe weather going on. Those yellow boxes down there, of course, tornado watches. We've got tornado warnings going on. They've had five tornadoes already reported in the panhandle of Texas and West Texas. This activity is going to continue all night long. Some of that's going to come our way, but it's not going to be severe tonight. It's going to be tomorrow we have a chance of severe weather. It'll be again in Texas, all the way up into southeastern Iowa, the threat for severe weather. Now, as I said, we could see just about every mode of severe weather could have an isolated tornado here, especially maybe in this area around I-80, Davenport, Quad Cities, could have some maybe some little bit of flooding with this because that low is going to be tracking right through central Iowa, it looks like. And if it tracks further south, that takes the severe weather threat south. Further north, it takes it north. It's all because of that warm sector right here. This is where the warm, moist air is. This is where we're at right now with the cool air, right? We have an east wind, and then we have a northwest wind. That's going to be coming in behind the system going into Thursday. Well, here tomorrow's highs, because we're going to get that push of warm air, we'll probably see some 60s and 70s here in southern and southeastern Iowa. Meanwhile, Spencer and Sioux City in the 40s all day. Yeah, it's going to get cold behind the system, that's for sure. Well, it looks pretty gloomy out there now, but at least it's dry, 59 degrees. We have that east wind at 9 miles per hour. The rest of the state is right there with us. We're in the upper 50s to lower 60s in most areas, except for southern Iowa. It's actually colder there because it's been cloudier and wetter with the rain. So the warm front is sitting right here right now. You can see it's very warm down to the south of that, to the north of it, pretty chilly, even some 40s out out in Valentine, Nebraska. So our big area of low pressure is cranking up. This is the upper level energy. Basically, we're seeing the jet stream. It's kind of like when you look at the water vapor, you can really see the upper level wind flow, and it's lifting those thunderstorms up, and we will see that moving in tonight. So here's a look at it. By 2 or 3 in the morning, we should have a good round of showers and thunderstorms, especially west of the metro. Looks like a heavier activity, more scattered off to the east, but then it really fills in tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock or so. We should have some pretty heavy rain out there. It's going to slow you down. You might give you yourself some extra time tomorrow morning. In the afternoon, it's going to be more scattered activity, but these are the ones to watch for possibly some isolated severe weather through the afternoon and maybe even early evening hours uh, as it pulls on out. Now, the rainfall amounts, it's going to vary with those scattered thunderstorms out there. Some of the models are saying eastern Iowa and even northwest Iowa get the most, but one to three is generally what we're looking at across the state. 50 degrees with showers and thunderstorms later tonight. Scattered thunderstorms, some of those heavy tomorrow in the morning, I think we'll see some of the more consistent rainfall, the heavier rainfall. Now, Friday looks pretty good after a chilly, kind of windy Thursday. Saturday, we got some evening showers, but during the day, Saturday it looks good. And Sunday for Mother's Day looks pretty good. Next week looks pretty good with mostly 70s, it looks like. And the rain chances are not uh, well defined next week, so that's a good thing. We don't have any big weather systems on the horizon. So, like I said, we get through the next couple of days, and mm -hmm. Friday things are looking good. But you can't ask for much more than that. It's going to be nice. Yeah, and uh, it's just going to really, really feel like spring. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs>